Today I'd like to show you my secret for ensuring project success. Join me as I reveal how I use Trello to manage my studio projects. Drawing from my experience as a former creative director at a respected ad agency, I've witnessed firsthand how professionals manage large budgets and insane timelines. Well, I've brought some of that thinking into my recording business, and I'm excited to share that with everyone. If you've never heard of Trello, let's take a look at their website and check out some of their features before we see how I use it. So I've navigated to trello.com backslash tour, and this has a nice page that outlines a lot of the features. Figured that would be better than for me trying to read it out loud or come up with my own descriptions. So at first glance, you can see there's a free uh, version. So you can get Trello for free and start using it today, which is really cool. There's lots of great features in the free tier, and I've used that for many years. It was only until my business started to grow where I needed some of those advanced features to where I started using the paid tiers. Um, as you can see, Coinbase, John Deere, Google, lots of people use this. I would say this is a good call out here. You see boards, lists, and cards. And essentially that's the foundation of Trello. So uh, here's a brief overview. You can add members. You can add due dates, attachments, checklists, all kinds of really great functionality within a card. And there are multiple ways um, that you can view the work. Like they've they've got a newer um, timeline view, so you can almost look at things like a calendar and see due dates. I always loved knowing that, like, what's due, you know, on Friday. So there's a lot of customization in how you view this uh, app. What's neat here is they have this thing called power ups. Um, so one I frequently use, since I do a paid Gmail for my email. I get a free unlimited amount of storage within Google Drive. Now, admittedly, Google Drive is not my favorite sharing or file sharing platform, but I do use it to archive a lot of projects. Uh, I'll also use it to send my final files and, and make sure those final files are up there for my clients. Those links, you know, don't change you know, very often. So if a client, you know, requests a redelivery of stems, I can, or depending on the project nature, you know, stems or a whole project, I can quickly go into Google Drive and get a shared link and, and send that back to them. And those are called power-ups. So whether um, you're looking into Salesforce or Slack or Google Drive, like in the paid tiers, you get these things called power-ups that you can add within Trello, which is really cool. You can start as a single person, all the way into huge teams. Now I think Trello um, and why I love it is very simple. I've also used um, more complex project management software, things like Monday or even as deep as like Jira. Um, if you're familiar with those, Trello is not that. It's a, a really simplified version, which I think is great. Anytime you can create clarity and be concise with what needs to happen in terms of task or just your workflow from week to week, it's really great. And that's why I love Trello. My buddy is a mastering engineer. Um, actually, I have a couple friends that are mastering engineers that do this automation uh, in terms of the workflow. The way I understand it is you go to their website, fill out the form, like I need five songs mastered, blah, 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 blah. Hit enter. Then the, some code basically puts a card or a list together within Trello on my friend's sort of calendar. And, and I just think that's super cool. The automation capabilities I hear are really powerful. And um, there's also like templates that you can use. I haven't dove too deep into that, um, but there's some cool stuff. So long story short, there is a look at the Trello website. Now let's dive in to see how I use it. Okay, so now that we've taken a brief look at the Trello features on their website, let's see how I use it for my business. There are essentially three levels of organization within Trello, to, and it just is very simple. You have boards, lists, lists go on boards, and then cards, and cards go on lists. 
So if you think about that and then take a look at what you're seeing here, there's a Grush Audio board. And then on that board, I have various lists. And those lists have cards on them. And those cards are often my to-dos. So I've created a sample project that we're going to look at today. And this sample project would be an example of, of um, how I might do uh, a project for, you know, if I were producing, like something long form, many months or even over a year or something like that. So um, you can obviously name these anything you want really quick. But I've created a, a pre-production card, a recording process outline card, the production of the first song, which I'm titling song one, just in this example, and then the mixing and mastering of song one as well. For me, I do cards for each song in each phase of the project. So if it's pre-pro, production, mixing, and mastering, song one would get a card in every phase of that project, essentially. So with that being thrown out there, let's take a look at what a card offers and the functionality that goes into it. I'll just do a brief overview here. But long story short, you've got a pre-production. Here's the name of the card, and it shows what list it's it's within. And then you can add members to the card, whether uh, if somebody's a member of Tetrello already or if they've joined a previous board, they'll show up here by searching. As you can see, you see me there. I've added myself just as, as an example. You can create custom labels, which is I really like this. I've been dabbling with this um, more recently. Um, when I'm making content, I've been trying to strategize like where that content would go. So I've created some custom labels for whether it's Patreon or YouTube um, and even my internal work. Um, so I use this magenta as my brand color currently. And as you can see, there's an internal card here. So you can put descriptions in every card. Um, emojis, tag your teammates. They get notification in any tag. It's really great. This custom fields is, is kind of new. I've been experimenting with this, whether a card is a client project or just an office task or even a potential project. Like if I meet somebody for coffee and they're, you know, vocal about, I'd love to inquire or could we talk again about, you know, maybe your Dolby Atmos mixing or something like that. I'll create a Trello card for myself to remind myself to follow up with that person. And then um, the most powerful thing and, and the thing that I use all the time are checklists. I just love them so much. There's a couple different versions. So you can use advanced checklist in the paid tier or you can use just basic checklist, I believe, on the free tier. And that's what they look like. So you can create a task uh, in this pre-pro sample project that I put together is like I put down some things that I always do in pre-pro like let's get a feel for the tempo. Um, cool, we got that. Let's check that off. Let's make sure every song is not in the same key. So as the user listens to the breadth or the body of work, it's not all in just C sharp or whatever the, the band is tuned to. Uh, which can be a crutch from a songwriting standpoint, but I'm not going to dive into that right now. So, um, again, as you can see, there's checklist. You can put your items that you want to get done um, in a checklist. And what I really like is that you get this completion percentage. So with clients being on a board, they can kind of get an idea of, of the completion percentage for their project. And then quickly, I've done that just down the line. So I've created a recording process sort of outline where I would define the scope of work on a calendar, make sure the calendar works for people. Now, I don't manage the calendar inside of Trello. I use a calendar app called Fantastical, which is, I think, the best calendar out there. And But long story short, in this process outline, this is a reminder to myself that like, okay, I'm going to take the say the 10 songs that the band wants me to produce and I'm going to make that a calendar. And that's why I do this in phases because outlining the pre-production phase, outlining the production phase, outlining the mixing phase and outlining the mastering phase helps me get a sense for how long this project might take. And of course that leads up to budget, right? I want to make sure that we're under budget and then over delivering and the whole time the client gets to see this communication and they get to collaborate with me. It's, it's, it leads to some really great things. And uh, I just dropped some, some comments in here. Nothing, none of this is really like pertinent to real life. 
it's just showing you how you could use cards. Um, as I mentioned on the Trello website, they have power-ups. So if you wanted to add, um, I haven't been here in a while, but Slack might be a thing. You know, if you communicate with Slack that or um, Gmail, Microsoft Teams, these are more probably for corporate business uses. Google Drive is a good one that I use. And that essentially allows you to add attachments from Google Drive, those sort of things, so basically integrations. So the mixing and mastering, these are just really simple cards. I didn't really add anything, but I just wanted to illustrate that I do add a card for each phase of the project. And uh, here's an example from the past, uh, a recent project. You can see I've added uh, the BPM and the key of the song within the, the description. I think that's a really powerful thing, and I use that a lot. I think even after the project has launched, a band will often write and say, hey, man, what's the key or or maybe not even the key, but more tempo? What was the tempo of that song? I'm putting together the live tracks, and I need to create a session inside a Reaper or whatever DAW that they, they may use at home. What's the tempo? Well, since I try to stay organized and keep that stuff around, it's really quickly I can open up, um, excuse me, it's, it's real quick for me to open up Trello and grab that information and share that with them. So there we go. There's a brief look at how I use Trello to manage my recording projects. If you're not managing your projects with something like Trello, I hope this helps you think of new ways that you might be able to do that. As I said in the beginning, I'm a big fan of having a plan in place and working on effective communication. Those are both things that I witnessed in my agency life and how those pros really manage those large scale budgets and large scale timelines. I find that that approach helps me guide my clients on their creative journey and also ensures that they have a great experience working at my studio. If you found this info helpful, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.